Welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to do the second part of the rat rig build and that is going to be the motion system. Now to do the motion system we need to do some other things that I didn't do in the first part because apparently we had to install the base plating which I forgot to do. So we're going to do that first and then we are going to do what I have seen in the manual which is going to be the z-axis and the complete motion system of that we are probably going to do the wiring and all the uh, yeah electronics once that is done we are probably going to do another video on software and in the last video we will probably do a little uh, test part before we do the real review all right enough talking for me let's do the z axis Alright, we have been building the motion system. We now have four lead screws with the appropriate mounting uh, yeah, places for what's going to be the bed. Now, there is one thing I have noticed and that is we got uh, one part that had some warping. It's nothing major, but still, mm, is it perfect? No, nope. let me show you. So this right here is going to be the part and right over here we can see there is a crack. So the part lifted from this corner and the mounting holes were not aligning properly. So in order to mount this block, you can see it had to crack. This is going to be a major deal. I have no clue, we will see. I think it's probably fine, it's only a small crack. I think these are also printed in ABS, so maybe I'm going to get some acetone and just give it a little smear so that the crack is filled again. And there we have it. We have mounted the top bracing for the Z-Rod and now we have a complete motion system for the bed. Now one thing that we could see is that they are using a coupling inside that has the room to move this way but also has the room to move this way. And I could see on this lead screw and it's not only this one, also the one in the back, it has a little bit of a wobble. And this one is going to be the worst offender. So the couplings are working very nice. We can see that lead screw is rotating in the print, not affecting the stability of the print. So the bed should be nice and stable. Alright, one of the assemblies is in and one thing I found really weird is that 
while it is hanging, everything with the pulleys and everything that is bearing based is just hanging on for dear life. The bolts are falling out of the bottom. The tolerance should be a little bit more tight because if those bolts drop out, I will be sitting with a loose stack of bearings. Yeah, like you can see, this one right over here is hanging on. Not the biggest fan of this assembly, but this is just a little side note I wanted to give. It is a little bit scary. I have seen they are using LDO for all the motors and this one right over here is going to be the Speedy Power HT. No clue what it is, but we are going to use two of them. All right, now I'm going to prepare the other one, which is sitting right over there. And then we are probably going to try and finish this assembly. And with that, the hybrid system is on. We have our dual motors on each side, which is going to move the Y-axis back and forward. And uh, the assembly wasn't too bad. We have some printed parts here and there. We have some stuff that needs to be floating. And like I already told you that in this printed part, the bolt was pretty loose and it wanted to fall out. Well, guess what? It happened. This one fell out and I had to do the whole bearing thingy again, but it wasn't too bad. The neat thing actually is that we are left with uh, two bolts, mainly these ones, that were only used to keep some bearings in place. And once we put on the top part of the hybrid, these bolts get pushed out and replaced with the bolts that cannot fall out. So when you are going to push this thing over the existing bolt, make sure that you put a finger under the printed parts so it doesn't drop down and you get a lot of work. One thing I can say to you if you're building the hybrid as a big tip is get some of those needle nose pliers. You can grab the part, you can keep it in place and you can put your bolt in there. So it is not really an issue. It's just so you know. That's going to be it for part two. The complete motion system is done and it is running super smooth. Now, a few tips I want to give you before we close off the video. And that is going to be this thing right over here. This is the X axis and it needs to hit both these green bumpers at the same time. Now I had to loosen all the bolts we previously tightened so all these uh, idlers and all of that need to be loosened so which means we also needed to remove this green cover so if you're going to do this part which means we are trying to get this in line so there is no rack on the gantry i would suggest to remove this cover or just not install it in the first place do everything just right so it feels just right now to be fair my ocd sees like ah it's not even a half a millimeter it is so close but i'm going to take it it feels smooth it runs great so now i'm going to put back this cover underneath put in the four balls and call it a day so if you're going to do this 
don't put the cover on because chances are really high that you will have to loosen everything to get the racking just right. The whole build process until now has been oh so good. I really loved what I'm doing right now. We are now right at the end of the building part. There are only a few things like putting on the extruder, putting on the heated bed and then do all the cabling, which is going to be for the next video. Something I mentioned in the first video is that I don't read a lot of manuals. Now that's also true for my buying decisions. And apparently there is no paneling included. There is no paneling in this thing, which means we will have to do something different. And I think I'm going to take my inspiration from the Prusa Core 1. All right, that's going to be it for today. I see you in the next one for part three, which is going to be extruder and the heated bed and probably also the electronics. I'm going to see how far I can get. If you are liking these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel, put a like down below, maybe consider becoming a member for one buck a month. You can support the channel directly for the people that are. Thank you so much. This has been way easier than it would if you weren't supporting the channel. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.